This is Eric, aka The Recon, and welcome to the Ultimate Origins Quick Guide. This guide covers how to build and find everything. Literally. I'll cover all possible shovel locations, the real way to get the golden shovel and the golden helmet, the zombie shield, the gramophone, the Maxis drone, the free magna collider, all staff part locations, all ultimate staff upgrades, the thunder fists, and the airstrike grenades. The only thing that is not covered in this guide is the easter egg itself. I made this guide to be a quick reference for my easter egg guide that you can check out by clicking here or clicking the link in the description. At the bottom of this video you'll see three categories, staffs, buildables, and other. Clicking these will take you to different sections of this video. When you get into a section, the links will change to help you navigate that section. These quick links will also be in the description so those of you using smartphones to watch this won't get left out. Let's start off with the buildables. Building the shield. Each shield part has three possible locations. The first part can be found leaving the spawn room towards generator 2 in front of this table. The second location for this part is next to generator 2 where the giant steps. And the third location for this part is in the wheelbarrow at the end of this path by generator 2. The second shield part locations are the other direction out of the spawn room. The first location is in this wheelbarrow. The second possible location is at the bottom of the fire tunnel on this table. And the third location is near generator 3 behind this box. The third shield part locations are down this path between the excavation site and generator 5 in front of this dead guy. The second location is right between the excavation site and Juggernog in front of this other dead guy. And the last possible location is behind Juggernog in this puddle. There are three crafting tables to build this at. One at the church, another in the workshop next to generators 2 and 3, and the last in the wind tunnel near Juggernog. I recommend building this in the wind tunnel. Building the Maxis Drone The first part is Maxis's brain and is always on this table in the spawn room. The second part is either down the ice staff tunnel by generator 6 next to this little generator, on the tank path from the church heading towards Juggernog next to this sign, or on the tank path from the church heading towards Stamina up next to this sign. The last part is either at the top of the excavation site around this corner on the ground here, near the gramophone table here, or even further down on this box which has two possible paths to take to get there. One path is to walk on this platform, and the other is to jump off of this platform by one of the switches. Watch the gramophone section to see how to open the bottom of Pack-a-Punch. There are three crafting tables to build this at. One in the wind tunnel near Juggernog, another in the workshop next to generators 2 and 3, and the last is below the church. I recommend building this at the church. Gramophone parts. The disc for the gramophone can spawn next to this little generator at the excavation site, in this wheelbarrow at the top of the excavation site, or on the church side of the excavation site here. The gramophone itself always spawns on either side of this table here. Once you have the disc and the gramophone, place it on this table to open up the bottom of Pack-a-Punch. Once the bottom is open, you can pick the gramophone back up off the table by running over to it and pressing X. Now let's move on to the staffs. Building the wind staff. The wind disc can be found near generator 5 on this wall next to stamina, this box, or down the electric staff tunnel on this bench. There is one staff part in each giant. To get in the giant, shoot the foot that has lights on underneath it and it will open like this. Now let it step on you and you will go into its head where you'll find a staff piece. Don't try to go into a foot that doesn't have lights on it because it will crush you like this. One giant steps on either side of the church. Another steps in multiple places on either side of the excavation site. And the last giant steps with one foot by generator 2 and the other foot by generator 3. Now run down the wind tunnel by Juggernog and place the gramophone on the table. Don't forget that you can only put the gramophone down if someone already grabbed the wind disc. When the portal opens, run through it and grab the crystal off of the podium. Only the person with the crystal can build the staff. Now go below Pack-a-Punch and build it. Watch the gramophone section to see how to open the bottom of Pack-a-Punch. 
Building the fire staff. The fire disc will be at the church, either next to the tank, upstairs on these benches, possibly on one of these two walls, or at one of these two locations by generator 6. One of the staff pieces will come out of this box once you finish activating generator 6. To get the second piece, you need to shoot down a red glowing plane that appears one round after you open the path to the church. Once you shoot it down, the piece will fall out of the plane and land here. The last part is dropped by the panzer that comes on round 8 once you kill it. Now go to the fire tunnel right outside of the spawn room and put the gramophone on the table. Don't forget that you can only put the gramophone down if someone has already picked up the fire disc. When the portal opens, go through it and grab the crystal off of the podium. Only the person with the crystal can build the staff. Now go below Pack-a-Punch and build it. Watch the gramophone section to see how to open the bottom of Pack-a-Punch. Building the Ice Staff The ice disc is in one of these three locations near Generator 2. To get the staff parts, you have to dig while it's snowing. There will only be one staff part in each of the three sections of the map. The sections are broken up like this. Everything between the spawn room and the workshop is the first section. The whole area between generators 4 and 5 is the second section. And the church area is the third section. Once it's snowing, use a shovel to dig in any of the three sections until you dig up a staff piece. Then do the same in a different section. Then one more time in the last section. As soon as you get a staff piece in one of the sections, move on to the next because you will never get more than one staff piece in a single section of the map. The last piece you need is the crystal which is in the crazy place. Run to generator 6, then head down this tunnel. Put the gramophone down on the table and the portal will open. Don't forget that you can only put the gramophone down if someone has already picked up the ice disc. When you get into the crazy place, run to the podium and grab the crystal. Only the person with the crystal can build the staff. Now go back below Pack-a-Punch and build it. Watch the gramophone section to see how to open up the bottom of Pack-a-Punch. Building the electric staff. The electric staff disc will be near Juggernog, either on this table, in this wagon, or all the way down the wind tunnel here, to get the three staff pieces, you'll need to take the tank. All you need to do is jump off at the three places I show you to get the parts. The first place is just past Juggernog on the right. The second is on your way back to the church, right next to the excavation site. And the third is at the church right before the tank pulls in. Now go to the electric staff tunnel, which is right next to generator 5, and put the gramophone down on the table at the bottom. Don't forget that you can only put the gramophone down if someone already picked up the electric disc. When the portal opens, run through it and grab the crystal off of this podium. Only the person with the crystal can build the staff. Now go below Pack-a-Punch and build it. Watch the gramophone section to see how to open the bottom of Pack-a-Punch. Ultimate Wind Staff Quick Guide First, you need to go to the wind platform in the crazy place. When you get there, use the wind staff to shoot the rings on the ceiling until the symbols line up like this image. This image was taken looking towards the portal with my back towards the center of the crazy place. Once the symbols are matched up, the rings will rotate up into the ceiling and you'll hear an accomplishment sound. Now run out of the crazy place and shoot three smokestacks with the wind staff. One will be by Juggernog, another by Stamina Up and the last behind the church on the tank path towards stamina up. Once all three are shot, the smoke will go out and you'll hear another accomplishment sound. Now run below Pack-a-Punch and hit these four switches until all the rings have yellow lights on them. Then run to the very bottom and shoot the yellow glowing orb with the wind staff. Now run back to the crazy place, put the wind staff on the wind podium, then kill a bunch of zombies until the wind staff gets highlighted in red in the upper left corner of your screen like this. Now just grab the ultimate wind staff off the podium. To see an extremely in-depth guide on how to actually solve the wind staff puzzle without just guessing or using a cheat sheet, click the center of the video now or the link in the description. 
Ultimate Fire Staff Quick Guide. The first step is to use the fire staff to kill a bunch of zombies on this platform in the crazy place until these jars fill with fire and you hear a sound signifying that you accomplished something. Next, run to the church and figure out which torches need to be lit on fire with the fire staff by seeing which ones of these symbols are lit up red. Here is a quick guide to which torch number each code represents. Now shoot the correct torches below the church and you'll hear an accomplishment sound. That's your cue to run below Pack-a-Punch and hit these four switches until all the lights on the rings are red. Now shoot the glowing red orb at the bottom with your fire staff and run to the crazy place. When you get to the crazy place, put the fire staff on the fire podium and kill a bunch of zombies until the fire staff glows red in the upper left corner of your screen like this. Now grab the ultimate fire staff off the podium. If you want to see a very in-depth guide on how to actually solve the fire staff puzzle without just guessing or using a cheat sheet, click the center of this video or follow the link in the description. Ultimate Ice Staff Quick Guide First, you need to go to the Ice Staff platform in the crazy place. When you get there, shoot the ceiling tiles that correspond to the symbols on this pillar. Here is a quick guide to which symbols match. Pause this video now to use the quick guide. When you finish matching them, all the tiles should be flipped over and you'll hear an accomplishment sound like this. Now leave the crazy place and shoot three tombstones with the ice staff, then with a regular gun to break the tombstones. Make sure you're not using a ray gun to break the tombstones because it won't work. There's one tombstone behind Juggernog, one on the side of the excavation site, and one at the second tank station by Generator 2. Once these are broken, you'll hear an accomplishment sound. Now run below Pack-a-Punch, hit these four switches until all the rings have blue lights, then run to the very bottom and shoot the blue orb with the ice staff. Now run back to the crazy place, put your ice staff on the ice podium, then kill a bunch of zombies until the ice staff gets highlighted in red in the upper left corner of your screen like this. Now pick the ultimate ice staff up off the podium. To see a very in-depth guide on how to actually solve the ice staff puzzle without just guessing or using a cheat sheet, click the center of the video now or follow the link in the description. Ultimate Electric Staff Quick Guide First, you need to go to the electric platform in the crazy place. When you get there, use the electric staff to shoot the first, third, and sixth purple triangles, then wait for them to stop sparking. Now, shoot the third, fifth, and seventh triangles. Once those stop sparking, the last three will be the second, fourth, and sixth triangles. Once all of those have been shot, you'll hear an accomplishment sound. Now leave the crazy place and keep pressing X at these seven sparking switches until they stop sparking. Only one switch will spark at a time, and they always spark in the same order. The first is by stamina, the second is below the church, the third is upstairs in the church, the fourth is by Juggernog, the fifth is in the spawn room, the sixth is near Generator 2, and the seventh is right next to the excavation site. When they have all stopped sparking, you'll hear an accomplishment sound. That's your cue to run below Pack-a-Punch and hit these four switches until all the lights on the rings turn purple. Now shoot the purple orb at the bottom with the electric staff. Once that's done, run to the crazy place, Put the electric staff on the electric podium, then kill a bunch of zombies until the electric staff gets highlighted in red in the upper left corner of your screen like this. Now grab the ultimate electric staff off the podium. To see a very in-depth guide on how to actually solve the electric staff puzzle without just guessing or using a cheat sheet, click the center of the video now or the link in the description below. Finally, the other section. Shovel locations. Four shovels will spawn in a total of six different locations on the map. There are always two shovels in the spawn room. The first one is on this wall here, and the second one is next to the door that leads to generator 3. The next shovel will either spawn in the wind tunnel by Juggernog, or in the electric tunnel by Staminup. The last shovel will spawn behind the tank, either right next to the crafting table, or against the pillar near torch number 3. The Golden Shovel and Golden Helmet Getting the Golden Shovel is extremely simple. All you need to do is dig 30 times. 
On your 30th dig, you will get the golden shovel. I know this because I did it 10 times in a row and counted not only how many times I dug each round, but also where I dug. The only thing in common was that it was exactly 30 digs all 10 times. Once you get the golden shovel, you will be able to find red dig sites while you have zombie blood. When you dig these, a bottle will appear. When you grab the bottle, you will gain an extra perk slot. You can find up to 4 red dig sites to give you a total of 8 perks. However, if you wait to get your double tap out of the box until after you've found all 4 dig sites, you can have a total of 9 perks. That's it for the golden shovel, now on to the golden helmet. Unfortunately, getting the golden helmet isn't as easy. First, let me explain why you want it. The golden helmet allows you to get stepped on by the giants and live. This comes in very handy when you have a horde around you and you're out of ammo. So how do you get the golden helmet? Unfortunately, after getting it 10 times, I've discovered that it is random. Just like getting the ray gun out of the mystery box. Sometimes you get it on your first try, other times you get it on your 30th try, and sometimes you just never get it. I tried everything, from digging a certain amount of sites in each section of the map, digging at least one, two, or three sites per round for at least 10 rounds in a row, digging the same site at least three times, digging multiple sites at least three times, and countless other patterns. The only thing each of the 10 times I got the golden helmet had in common was that nothing was in common with any of them. You'll see here that one time I get the golden shovel on round 10, then the golden helmet two digs later on round 11. But this other time, I get the golden shovel on round 14, but don't get the golden helmet until round 35, almost 50 digs later. I could go on and on with different examples, but you get the point. So unfortunately, you'll just have to keep digging and hope you get lucky. Free Magna Collider Getting the Free Magna Collider is super easy. First, you need to build the Maxis Drone. Once it's built, grab it and run out of the Generator 2 side of the spawn room and look to the right. Release the Maxis Drone and aim at the yellow disc in the fire. You don't have to shoot, I'm just impatient. Maxis will go retrieve the disc like this. Now quickly sprint to stamina up and aim at this yellow disc to get Maxis to retrieve this one. As soon as Maxis heads over to it, run to the top of the excavation site and aim at this yellow disc. Once Maxis grabs that disc, sprint over to the church to get the fourth and final disc that is all the way at the top of the church. If you have stamina, you can get all four discs in one round by running the route I just showed you. Right after Maxis grabs the fourth disc, he will fly over to Pack-a-Punch and drop a free Magna Collider. If you already have the MG-08, then you can have both the MG-08 and the Magna Collider. However, if you try to upgrade the MG-08 and have two Magna Colliders, you'll lose the one you put in the Pack-a-Punch machine. You can see me lose it here. I keep trying to swap guns, but nothing is happening. One more thing, you can get the discs in any order, and it doesn't matter how many rounds it takes you to get all of them. Thunder Fists! To get the Thunder Fist, all you need to do is fill four boxes in any order by killing zombies near the boxes. There is one box behind Juggernaug, another one next to the excavation site between the workshop and Juggernaug, a third next to Stamina, and the last one right next to the church. If a giant steps on the box, you'll have to start that box again from the beginning. When you finished filling a box, it will close and disappear. Once all four boxes are filled, you have to run to the rewards chest, either at the spawn room or by generator 6, and press X while aiming at the bottom glowing symbol. The Thunder Fist will come out of the box, press X again to pick them up. Airstrike Grenades You need the Thunder Fist to get these. Click the link at the bottom to see how to get those. First, you need to run into the room next to Generator 2 and grab a tablet off of the table by pressing X. It won't say anything on your screen, but a tablet will disappear from the table and you'll see it show up in the bottom left corner of your screen. Now take the tablet to the church and put it in this water bath by pressing X next to it. Once it's in the water bath, kill a bunch of zombies with your thunder fists until the yellow orbs stop flying from the zombies to your tablet. Your tablet should also look more clean than it did when you first put it in. Take the tablet out by pressing X and bring it to the table you originally picked it up from near Generator 2 without stepping in any mud. If you do step in mud, Samantha will yell at you and you'll have to go dip your tablet back in the water by pressing X next to the water bath to clean it off again.
The path I'm showing you now is the fastest, but you can also take the tank, go up and over the excavation site, or around the right side of the excavation site. When you get back to generator 2, put the tablet back down where you picked it up from by pressing X in front of the table. Now punch a bunch more zombies until the airstrike grenades appear on the table. Run over and press X to collect your airstrike grenades. That's it for the Ultimate Origins Quick Guide. Don't forget to hit the like button if you guys found this helpful, and comment below if you guys have any questions. I've got something really special coming up for you guys very soon, so subscribe to see that right when I post it. This is Eric, aka The Recon, and I'll see you guys in my next video.